Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how to get some response time in SAP without even counting from how you, what is the response time of your system, okay? How can you um, find it out? Very easy. So how will you know it? So I'll, I'm going to create create a new session and I'll go to FPL1, okay? And here, I uh, suppose I'll take this out. I want to execute. And <clears throat> here, once I execute, here I get the the answers. Okay, you get the result. If you want to check the response time, you can find the response time from here. One, three, four, three, uh, a million milliseconds. Okay, that's that's pretty pretty nice, right? Now, if I want to do for for only the company code, of course it will take some more time. Let's see. Uh, we'll execute. Okay, and this took some time. Okay, and here if you see. This took less time, one two nine seven milliseconds. Okay, so you know, and again, it depends. So it depends upon the workload of the system and all those things. Very easy. If you go to any transaction code, so if I go now to suppose uh, slash o v a zero three. Okay, I go to v a zero three. Okay, and suppose I put uh, this this order number. Okay, here is the order number, and if I go here and I here, you can see. This is the response time. This much milliseconds you can find. Okay, so this is very very important. From here you will know what is the response time. Okay, let me show you another thing. So suppose if I go here in ME23N, okay, and if I go here ME23N, this displays this was the response time, 1422 milliseconds. Okay, <clears throat> now if I want to find another one. Uh, how much is the response time so it says this one and the response time was uh, if you notice for 406 milliseconds so when you are inside the transaction code and then you're trying to see another document the response time is always fast okay so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a great day